Whoa, what's going on guys? Happy Thursday. Thursday shoulder day, baby. We're, uh, we're on our way there right now. We're getting ready to kill it, getting ready to smash it. Three meals in us so far as we merge onto the parkway. All right, we're good. Three meals in us so far, plus a Pop-Tart. And just so you know, when I say a Pop-Tart, it means like a package of Pop-Tarts. <coughs> You can't trust a man that eats one Pop-Tart. It's like somebody who gets a bag of chips and has one and puts the rest of the bag away. You can't trust that guy. <clears throat> Anybody who thinks like that, I don't want anything to do with them. Because they're... Is that on? Yeah, that's on. Wasn't sure. There's some weirdos, man. You know, there's some weirdos out there. There's some people that'll... <clears throat> I don't know, dress up like animals and hang out and do naked ritual parties. And then there's people that eat a single chip. Those are the face stealers, you know. Those are the people that are going to cut your face off and wear it like a mask. Don't trust them. They're, they're a little kooky, you know. So be on the lookout for that. Stay vigilant and make sure that your shoulders are so wide, so wide, that those people that want to cut your skin off and wear it, you're going to have so much skin on you because you're so damn jacked and juicy and good looking that their knife is going to be too dull to cut you all up, so they're not even going to try. So really having big shoulders is more of a safety thing than everything nowadays because we're in a, we live in a crazy world, man. You know, it's like a deterrent. You know, a rooster like boosts up his neck to look bigger or a bear stands on his hind legs. Well, humans, we just have shoulders. We just, we lat spread as a self-defense mechanism. Lat spread. All the, uh, the bad people go away, you know? <clears throat> a fun topic I got for you guys today is haters. Haters and bullshit. <coughs> and I'm not talking about it for me. So I'm not, I'm not here venting or anything like that. You know, I've been through that, um, let's say, era of my life training where you have people hating on you left and right for it because you're working out. But that's not what we're talking about right now. I get hate comments and stuff all the time, all the time on my YouTube. Most of the time it's people saying stupid things, and I'll just give them a, a stupider response, you know, or I'll act like, huh, I didn't know what you're talking about. I remember I made some guy really upset one day. He's like, bro, just tell us how much juice you're on, you know, and I just started talking about pineapple juice and about how it's in my program for my liver and it's good for this, that, and the next thing. <clears throat> My man got so mad, so mad, that I don't know what he typed out. It was it was abusive. But YouTube actually removed the comments. They, they removed the whole chain. <coughs> and ordinarily, I put that stuff back. I, I, don't, I couldn't care less. But there was some real angry, racist fucking... It, it, was, a, it was a slew of things. And there's a, there's a line you got to draw somewhere. Where I'm all for free speech. Free speech, say whatever you want, offend whomever you want, and if you're offended, that's kind of your problem. But shit like that, that can, it's just nasty to read. To that extent, like I said, hating jokes, couldn't care less, but it was abusive, abusive text. That stuff we don't need on there, man. So YouTube removed it. It wasn't even up to me. They just took it down. They're like, dude, this is not staying up. I'm like, okay, YouTube. You got me there. <laughs> but anyway. I got a buddy of mine. Good friend. He's uh, in the beginning stages of his fitness journey. Always been in good shape, right? Nothing wrong with that. Always worked out, more or less. <clears throat> but he's really pursuing it more. Not in like a influencer or anything type of way or 
trying to be a competitive athlete, just really getting more into it. And he's, and he's proud of his results, and rightfully so. So we've all been there. Excuse me. And men were always there to begin with. So he put up a, a photo on his story one day, and it was him posing in his, like, underwear. Like, in case you haven't noticed, I put up one of those a day, you know? But for me, the world expects it. They go, oh, there's John, there's squats. And it wasn't, you know, some weird-looking pose and <clears throat> sexualizing it. It's just, you know, pants down, underwear up, check out my legs. And I'm hyping him up. I'm like, dude, your legs look fucking great. You're killing it, blah, blah, blah. Because he is. And I love that. I'm always there for my people, always there for my friends. Apparently, he's got a lot of hate messages and stuff from people he knew in the past. And I, I want to say this to everybody, right? The biggest thing, and as cliche as it sounds, is very true. You will never meet a hater doing better than you, ever, in your life. The people doing better than you that you'd want your advice from, they're not sitting there hating on you because they're too busy making their own life. They're too busy making something happen. You know, I have a small YouTube channel right now. It's nothing gargantuan. It's growing rapidly, and I, and I love that. It's a good time. But it, it's not like I'm Mr. Beast over here. But you'll never have big YouTubers hating on you for making videos and starting a small channel because they've been there too. <clears throat> you know? And they know what it takes. You'll never have professional bodybuilders hating on you for going to the gym as soon as you're starting because they started somewhere too. The people that hate on you, man, is always the ones that'll never do it themselves. <clears throat> Where that hate is strongest in the beginning. Because in the early stages of it, right, the people hating on you see your results and you're getting consistent results. You're doing really well. You're at it every single day, right? But what they don't like is that their results are obtainable. You know, if you take somebody who's never touched a weight in their life, right? Let's, let's just say, fat girl who's complaining all the time. <clears throat> She's not gonna hate on me for working out and posing in my underwear because it's just so far away from where she is aesthetically and where she is mentally for it. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So she's not hating on something that she could have if she just put in a little bit of work. You know, we're talking about decades of work. But hating on somebody who's just a little bit better than you is a really common way to try to keep people around you down. You know, you got to remember, you need friends around you that lift you up, man. But any of them that are pulling you down, get the scissors, cut them out. You don't want those people around you. They're leeches. They're energy leeches. They're life leeches. They're battery leeches. You know, they'll do nothing beneficial for your life. And not that you need people to always provide something for you. Not at all. But, man, those people don't have your best interests in mind at all. <clears throat> and when I look at my circle of friends, the people that I choose to spend my time with, give my energy to, I want to be around good people who, you know, are there for me, of course, but more so just good, good-hearted people, man. That's what it's all about. I don't want to be, and in a way, it's disrespectful for the people that you choose to have in your life that you love and cherish and you call them good friends. And then you have people that hate on you too, right? People that talk, friend friends that talk behind your back, things like that, and you call them friends too. It's like, well, man, you know, that's disrespectful to the people that are there for you that you also call friends because you're calling them the same thing, except he's got your back no matter what. You'll call him in the, you know, call him at three in the morning and say, come over, I need you. He's like, I'm on my way. No problem. You want a coffee? You know, and then you have friends <coughs> that will talk behind your back and hate on you for any stupid bullshit thing, and it's, those aren't friends, man, they're haters in disguise, so 
like chameleons, you know, haters in camouflage, where most of the time they just look like your buddies, you know them for a while, whatever it is, but as you begin to see these little things just fleckle on in, you realize who they are, and you realize what you can tell them, but those people, man, I'm not saying cut off the people that have been in your life forever like that. I mean, go for it, I guess. That's certainly never bothered me. I'm pretty cold with that stuff. (coughs) But keep them at arm's length. You know, you don't have to tell everybody everything. And you know your real ones are real ones. When, you know, you have people that talk shit behind your back. And then you have people that hype you up behind your back. You know, those, those are the real ones. And the ones that hype you up behind your back, you'll never know they do it. But you know the people that do it who they are. You know? Does that make sense to you? But be good to the people in your life, man. You know, it reminds me of when I was getting ready for my first bodybuilding competition. I was 18. It was a... Uh, a natural organization, and I put up a tweet back in the day. It was something along the lines of, I don't know why I started thinking about this last night, something along the lines, God, there's so much construction and shit going on, (laughs) of, you know, I'm training while my competition's sleeping. Something silly like that, and it was, I was working out before school, so I put that up, I was proud of myself, I was at the gym at like 6 in the morning, whatever, school started at like 8, something like that. <clears throat> and I had somebody that I knew from school, and she wasn't a uh, like an athlete or anything by any means. She didn't work out, nor does she nowadays. But she commented on there and replied, subtweeted, whatever it is, <clears throat> saying that other people that go to the gym aren't your competition. And I'm like, and then I, ex- I explained afterwards. I'm like, no, no, I'm doing like a show, blah, blah, blah. Like I actually have competitors now. You know, it's a different, a different ball game. And I don't remember where it went from there. It doesn't matter. It's not important. But those people that are in your life, man, that are hating, even if you hear rumors of them hating, just be aware of what you tell people. You know? The ones who are actually going to clap for you are going to ask you how you're doing. The ones that hate, they usually don't. They want to know everything. Because it makes them feel a little bit better. If you had a bad day, man, they're on cloud nine. That's all they'll talk about. If you had a good day, you won't hear a fucking word from them. So, we just got to the gym. Gonna slam shoulders. I'd keep chatting. But I look like a lunatic because there's somebody to the right of me and someone to the left of me. And they're going to be like, why is this guy talking to himself for 45 minutes? Cheers. I'll see you guys inside. Let's get it. fancy right here, standard barbell shrugs, but this is the appropriate reception set, so this isn't the work weight by any means. This is the set we do before the work weight to make it actually respond better neurologically. It's like that South Park episode with Starv and Marvin talking about the appetizers. He goes, this is what we eat before we eat to make us more hungry, and this just makes us hungry for more gains, baby. So we're not taking this to failure by any means. Smooth six reps. And then we're gonna throw a four or five on here. And that'll be what gives our body a reason to change.
Plain and simple. No biggie. Take a second. Then the big boy weight goes on. So, I was chit chatting a little bit too much. I caught myself. Time for the actual work weight. So we got 405 on the bar. We, uh, we're gonna give you 10 of these. I'd like to say partials too, but it's hard to partial shrugs without just turning it into an ugly rack pull. So we're gonna get 10 solid reps. If we can do more, we'll do more. You know, like always. Let's, uh, let's see what we got today. heavy today. <laughs> that was a good set. We need our accessory moves this in. Go pose. I'm hoping to be poison, posing with uh, my boy Florent today. So we were working out a little bit before and we set up our workouts ended around the same time. We try to smash some posing together. So in about three seconds, you'll know if we're posing together or not. I'm not going to know for another 20 minutes or so. <laughs> Must be nice, huh? Not living without all that wonder. Whew. So, man, this is the hottest it has ever been in this room. We're going to do this quick. And there were people in here before. I was chit-chatting, so I'm already, I'm already sweating up a storm. The weight was up today nice. We killed it. Had a great, strong workout. Unfortunately, my buddy Florent is not in here with me. Uh, I saw him as I was finishing up. Not sure if I really look at this camera or that angle. I'm, you know, I'm gonna look at this one. So he was finishing up and he had a rush. It was uh, Mama Duke's birthday. So Mama Duke's happy birthday. And on that note, let's uh, let's see what we look like, man. Let's see what's going on. I got a sneak peek in the locker room before I started training, and I was like, this is pretty solid today. Whew, and that was pre-pump. Yeah, we're solid right now. Shit. Alrighty. Quick leggies. lighting in here it's not here is it back here oh it's way the fuck back here I'm learning something new every day guys nice how's the back look oh back looks good all right we're getting out of here before I pass out <laughs> so on that note guys Oh, we're going to chit chat real quick in the car about what was different today in the lift, where we improved. Whew, let's get it. Oh, this is good lighting too. Okay, now we're done. Whoa. Alrighty. We are back in business, baby. So, 
Man, that was a great lift. We're uh, on our way to the grocery store now. I had to mail some stuff. And I came to a, a realization on the way back from the gym is that I want tacos tonight. So we're going to go to the store, get all the fixings to make up some tacos. And I'm excited. There's nothing more fun then, and if you've never tried this, try it, all right? Putting on a show, having all the bowls of tacos and stuff, like, you know, the fixings for tacos right in front of you, and just watching a show and just making taco after taco one at a time. It's a good time. If you've ever done it, first of all, you go through like 12 tacos because you don't realize how many you're eating, which for the off-season is great because you're bulking, you're just getting calories upon calories in, man. So... That's always fantastic, but even better than that, you know, it's like <clears throat> eating food is fun, but I always like doing something while I do it, you know, so I like watching something instead of just sitting there in silence as my dog stares at me. So we're, uh, you get to play with your food, you got to make the tacos while you're, while you're watching something, and it's a good time. Man, it's a good time. <clears throat> so let's talk about that shoulder day, right? What happened? So we started off with the upright rows, right? Standard warm-up, standard probe set, standard work set. And then the clip you saw before that was like vertical. Vertical? Yeah, vertical. Uh, that was my buddy Florent who was sneaking a video of me. And he sent it my way while we were at the gym. So that's why that clip was like that. Because you guys know I don't film it like that for the for the uh, YouTube content, <coughs> but it made one. <coughs> excuse me, it made one good reel for social media. That's for sure. That was a fun upload, and man, we looked jacked in that video. Um, I was looking at it. I'm like, holy shit, is that me? <laughs> so that was a great uh, half hold partial set with the 120s, a good 10 reps, and then we added three partials to that because I saw the camera was on me, so we had to add a couple more reps, you know. They say the uh, camera itself, it, it adds 10 pounds to you. I don't know about that, but it sure as hell adds, you know, a couple more reps when you know the world is watching, or, you know, 300 of you are watching. So, what do I got to do? Not, not execute that to the best extent possible? Of course not. So that was that. From there, we went into the... Uh, on the other laterals were the same. I actually added one rep on the work set prior to that, where with the 65 pounds, I always did like 10 reps, and 10 was a, 10 was a new number from the week prior. We did nine, last week we did 10, and today we did 11. So that was, that was great, solid progression. Boom, boom, then hit those extra partials on the half holds. I called them with the 120s. From there we went into the, uh, the rear delt pull downs, if you guys have seen me do. We did those with my buddy as well. I, was, I saw he was training rear delts too, so I called him over to see if he liked my exercise or not, and uh, we trained him together. It was a good time. Those were the same as last week. We hit the uh, 12 reps for the first time last week, so this week we just stabilized it. I tried to get another one, and it just <laughs> it wasn't happening. So from there, went the shrugs. That 405 felt, uh, felt heavy today, man. I don't know why I was so fatigued, but I mean, I had a great workout, I guess that's why I was so fatigued, but uh, we still maintain the numbers from last week, a solid 10 reps of it, which is great, you can't ask for more than that sometimes, and besides that, the not fun accessory stuff, you know, like the, the reverse pitches I call them, and the behind the neck stuff to help just build up that shoulder complex uh, for the rotator cuff and the labrum, you know, that was all. That was all the same. I did. I wasn't really trying to push that to new heights today. But man, overall, I'd say we had a uh, we had a great workout. And what's even better, not better than that. Nothing's better than that. But what's great too is this is the first time in a while. It's just a it's a beautiful day out, man. February first. This is my birthday month like a 16 year old girl this is my birthday month but you know 
now. So I'm taking that as a as a good sign for the year ahead. We got a lot of big things planned for you guys. Got a lot of big things planned for myself. And it's all man, it's all coming together nicely. And that's a beautiful thing, you know. Do the best we can to help everybody. Do the best you can to help yourself without stepping on anybody else. Because if you need to step on others to lift yourself up, that always crumbles beneath you. You know. But one thing I would recommend is next time you're going to the gym to train shoulders, right? Give those like half holes, those half partial lateral reps a shot. Because they do wonders for your overall strength, for your laterals in general, but really just building up that, that tapering line right here. It's a great exercise to incorporate if you don't do them yet. Whew. And man, you know, on that note, what the fuck is this guy doing? Okay, good job, buddy. Anyway, before I was distracted by dipshit McGee, and on that note, guys, I am going to see you tomorrow for a kick-ass, monstrous, beautiful, savage leg day. Take care. Have a great day. Eat some good food. And if you got a dog, give him a belly rub, all right? Take care, guys.